since my unboxing video had no audio, we're going to shoot this again. What comes in the box is the charger, the battery, the saw. Comes with the cover installed over the chain to protect your fingers. Manual for the saw, batteries, and the charger. What does not come in the box is bar and chain oil. You'll have to provide that yourself, as stated such on the box. A uh, feature I like about the saw is the auto tensioning. Uh, that's a one-handed operation. Uh, it also has a nice reservoir. You can actually visually check to see if you have bar and chain oil available. Uh, it also has a two-stage light on there. Uh, another feature I like about the saw after using it a little bit here is that's not just an on-off switch. That is a trigger uh, variable. It's a brushless motor. Um, it doesn't come on all at once. It, it ramps up, gets to speed, maintains whatever speed your throttle is set to as you're squeezing the throttle or trigger, um, and then it ramps back down as you release the trigger. As comparison to the Cobalt 40 volt chainsaw, uh, replacing this for a reason, I burned up the motor in two of these. Um, this was a two tool or two, uh, two knob operation. You would loosen this first and then adjust your tension on the chain and then tighten this back down to maintain a locket in position. Uh, the switch on that one was more of an on off switch. Uh, worked okay, worked pretty good. I had a tendency to maybe put too big of a bar and chain on there and maybe overload those motors. And then again, I may not be the only one that has uh, burned up the motors on these. <laughs> had a tornado go through our subdivision and this is some of the results of it. We've got four pine tree tops stacked upon each other here. Uh, we've lost roughly 14 trees on the property that we can count. There's several more off in the woods that we can't even count for yet. Um, what we have here is we've gone ahead and purchased the uh, Ego 18 inch bar electric chainsaw. Uh, we went ahead and purchased the electric chainsaw to have an addition to our uh, gas-powered chainsaw. And they work when you squeeze the trigger. Uh, this one's fantastic about that. When you squeeze the trigger, it actually ramps the throttle up and down on the speed of the, uh, the electric motor. Uh, this does have a, a brushless electric motor, uh, so it tends to have a better, uh, better control than just an on-off switch, which some electric saws tend to have. One safety feature I wanted to talk about that I've discovered this saw has is it immediately stops if it senses that the bar is already on something. See? tends to be self-adjusting, but when you bump it, it tends to unwind. Alright guys, I'm going to pause this video to ask you guys to please like, subscribe, and share. Recently made it past a small milestone of getting 100 subscribers, 
Uh, several of the videos I've posted just this year have already made it past 200 views. Let's keep this going and get the algorithm working in my favor. One comment I have about this saw is it tends to be very hungry. It wants to make a very fast cut, throws a lot of chips real fast. Uh, it'll make a quick pile of uh, sawdust uh, coming off that chain uh, in a rapid pace. So uh, some of the other uh, electric or battery powered saws I've used you know, tend to be anemic on the power. This thing has no problem cutting through stuff. Uh, I like it. It does a good job. Uh, I give it a high, give it a, a five out of five rating, or ten out of ten so far. Uh, nothing to not like about this saw. Uh, I did use it the other day. Managed to uh, actually overheat the battery pack, and it had red lights blinking. Uh, once it cooled back down. Uh, battery pack worked and everything so and still had about a third of a charge left so uh, I have used uh, probably put two two or three charges on it already we've, we've used this saw quite a bit in the prop on the property